Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As always, welcome back to the Amateur Hour podcast, episode 59. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. This is another Rate Your Physiques episode. We've realised we've not done one of these in a while, and we thought, you know what, this is easily probably the most wanted episodes that we do, or highly requested. So, we're back. Yeah. How are you, bro? Good, bro. Very good. I'm actually excited for this. Like, we haven't done these in a while. Uh, and like you said, yeah, they're probably the most popular ones in regards to we get the shares from it. We get people people sending in their, other people's physique as well as, them, as, well as them, their own. Um, mm-hmm. So it's always, a, it's always a good laugh. And, uh, people just baiting people saying, rate this guy's physique. Rate this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just chucking their friends in. So yeah. many people say, rate Tom Taylor, rate Tom Taylor. Like, mate, I'm not rating my physique again. <laughs> no, I'm not the best, okay? But then again, I'm here rating other people's physique, so don't take my opinion seriously. Yeah, this is, all, this is all just... Uh, it's, all, it's all shits and gigs at the end of it. It's all a bit of a laugh. Um, mm. But busy day for myself, bro. Um, in, in Derby, seeing a few clients, seeing where they're at, who are prepping next year. It's exciting. But other than that, mate, nothing major. Let's get, do you want to get straight into it? Yeah, we can go straight into it, man. Yeah, no messing around. <laughs> Because obviously we did a podcast, we did, well, we did one yesterday, mate, so yeah, I'll exactly. be, be, be last six meals been in hydration today. Oh yeah, brilliant. Um, nothing much to catch up on. Let me get this going then. Um, I've got one up already. We'll start with uh, Mr. Ben Diesel. Ben is a, uh, is he junior? In, no, sorry, junior. What am I talking about, junior? Um I can't remember. He did a first time show when I did PCA London. He did PCA London, which was this show. Oh, yeah. He won. That's not going to click on his profile picture, is it? Um, he won. I want to say it was the first time as category, or it might have been like novice or something. Um, uh huh. If this is going to load, uh, get off the story. And then now he's taken all of this time off. So he hasn't competed since. And now he's an absolute fucking mutant. Mate. Yeah, bear in mind. Oh, I could be butchering this, but I think he's twenty four. Might right. be, might be t- older than that. Uh, not, not much though. Um, he's he's still a young, a young freak. Look at that! Look at that arm, mate. I would not like to see him down a dark alleyway. Jesus, <laughs> <No>. um, <laughs> he's a little XL bully, bro. Look at him. Yeah, literally, um, mate. As yeah. super got- duper uncomfortable. He's got mate. a big, big, big lot of muscle on him. Um, yeah, I think from those shots there, mate, from like the side, he's really, really good. Like anteriorly, he looks really good. Um, like really, really dense. Just thick, dense muscle. Yeah, I can see it. He eats, yeah. he trains, he trains very hard. To be fair, I remember I've trained with him once or twice. I think um, back in back in Kings, and yeah, he trains fucking hard. I'll give him that. Um, I, like he, the, I like the, I like the honesty as well. Yeah, team. yeah, exactly. And he's being coached by Heck now, um, which I think is a good a good fit for him, which is cool. I'm excited to see. I think they're prepping next year, so that'll be uh, that'll be one to watch for sure. I think oh, mate, if we find that like, these were like his prep prep pictures, like he got he got peeled. And hey, had look a, at his arms, bro. His arms are stupid. He's so stupid, like Nick Nick Walker type, type of arms. Um, and at this point, he was being prepped by Math- Matthew Soler, um, who we've looked at on here. He just turned pro at the yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, very good rig, and obviously he's a bigger now. So, mate, yeah. it's, that's ridiculous, mate. I was just stupid. Um, but what's what's cool is like, um, obviously the physique's great. Like, got a really really good look on him. If this is gonna let me come off this post, he is he trains like a fucking animal. Like he's so strong. But you can uh, tell that he has that, you know what I mean? It has that like dense muscle to him. It's it's yeah. like you can't really um you can't really describe it, but like it just has that look, doesn't it? Yeah. But, but you can definitely tell he's brought up his lower half, which is really cool to see. Because looking at Looking at those um those prep fuck those prep um, video now compared to what he looks like now he's brought up his quads massively and his side leg, yeah. so uh, considering where he has where he was there mate he was he was peeled, 
So yeah, no, he got he got in he got in really really good shape um, at, at his show, and I think like for example, if we if it's going to load, which for some reason it might not. He's an Irish. He's an Irish boy. No, he's he is he's from London, but I think he lived he was in a relationship with someone a while ago. Lived in Ireland for for like a year. Oh, I see. Because uh, I remember that's the gym doc. Yes. Yeah. 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 But like, bro, look at the four plates moving like nothing. Yeah, uh, man. With like relatively good, well, fucking decent fucking form. Yeah, that's decent form for uh, that. Yeah. Is that for four three plates? and a half plates? I think that's. I've got. Uh, I've got a feeling that might be a fifteen, but. Mate, what makes it more impressive, mate, is that it's on a life fitness. Uh, yeah, yeah, mate, which yeah. is so heavy. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, yeah, for example, like he's he's just strong as fuck, which is cool. Um, and yeah, he's grown loads, so he's he'll be one to watch for sure. I think yeah. he he's gonna do some. No, nah, he's brought on his lower. Like from looking at the shots from prep, it's like it's lower. Yeah, uh, anteriorly, uh, like from his anterior, he's come on massively. So. I think that's where he probably needs to improve on. He's, he's definitely done that from, from what we're seeing. Yeah. Side chest is ridiculous, mate. Yeah, but, the side chest, everything was good, man. It'll be uh it'll be one to watch for sure, bro. One to watch. Oh, mate, he's, yeah, great rig. Um what well, last game as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I'll, do is I'll pull up the other ones. Um you sent me a few of yours, haven't you, on DM? Oh, I'll send you a few. Um, I'll send you a few. Actually, okay. I'll do some now. And as well, guys, unfortunately, we can't review yeah. the photos that you send through. So when you do send us across your physique or anyone else's physique, please make sure that for a you've posted something. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to send you a few now, mate. That we're going to go through. So there's one. There's your first one. There we go. Um, let me click. Oh, share the Instagram. Mr. JJ himself. There he is, Mr. JJ, Mr. Beanie Boy. Here he is. Oh, he, is he, he, he specifically sent me a photo, bro. Um, it was the one of him on stage doing... Um, the one, the one that you sent me was that the one? I yeah, was... that was specifically that. I'm guessing so. He put that photo in there, so I'm specifically going to make sure that we do those ones just in case. Uh... Okay. I will. We'll get. We'll, yeah, we might as well look at his stage shots. To be fair, but these these look fucking nutty. To be fair, yeah, man. Oh, seeing his the legs, uh, Jesus Christ, mate. Did men's physique last year? <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous, mate. And uh, the shorts are off, mate. The shorts are definitely off. I'm telling you that. The shorts um, are permanently off. It is. Is it this one here? Keep going. No, keep going down, bro. Keep going down. Keep going. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, here we go. These are the shots that we're uh, that we're going to be going through. I'm not gonna lie, mate. I don't think he has that many um, that many weak points. Quads. Like, if you look at his rear shots as well, mate, he's really well balanced. Like, maybe comparing his quads to his hamstrings, like. It's not that much of a difference. Yeah. Arms. If he's going to go into classic, well, he is, he is pursuing classic um, arms. But then again, every classic guy needs more arms. Um, I I love um, Josh's physique. Yeah, he's got a nice flow to it. Really, really nice flow to it. Mm-hmm. I think he could do very well in classic. It's just a case of more size. But that's literally the same with everyone. So it's very generic feedback, but just be bigger. Mm-hmm. So. He put, yeah, mate, for sure. And he put on like nearly 20 pounds of muscle. Yeah. yeah. That's 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 cool. Like that's a lot well, of muscle. Yeah, yeah, like it's what I mean, mate. From a posterior and anterior perspective, he's not really that weak anywhere. Like he's really well balanced. So it's hamstrings, glutes, like which I mean compared to his quads, his quads are ridiculous. Like top lines good, delts so, like he just needs more arms, probably. <laughs> but how like do you know what I mean? Hamstrings, it's all there. I think he's one of those people that everything's there, he just needs more of it, which is such a cool thing to say. Exactly. Um, it's just a case of just continue to do what you're doing. Like, it's nothing like change your training to suit this type of, you know, we need to bring up this one specific body part. It's kind of just everything needs to come up. I'm sure he's got in his in his head some, somewhere like specific things that need to come up more than others. But realistically, I think he's pretty well balanced. Oh, um, mate, for sure. If I was to be picky, I'd just say maybe I'd say because he's got like a fairly I don't know how big his waist is or whatever, but he's got a fairly small waist. I think it would just obviously 
I'm literally saying the opposite look better with a bigger back. Like the waist will come in with mm-hmm. a with a big, better taper. Um, so obviously if you can just develop his back, which he's done already, but just continue to develop the back nice and wide. Um, and also just as that comes, it will look better from the front as well in, in this shot specifically, and maybe the front double, his waist will just look even fucking smaller, which is sick. I agree. I agree. Um I agree for shall. Hamstring drop looked really good on these uh on these side shots here. Got a great smile on as well, bro. Look at that, mate. The stage the stage presence is cool. Like I I, I respect it a lot because like I find it very difficult to uh to like smile on stage. Like I'm very just like pose hard, don't care about your face. Like very branch, mate. Yeah, <laughs> very branch, yeah. Um like I don't I remember I could I remember Lucy telling me like you need to smile and I'm just like Look at me. I can't. Look at me while I'm posing and doing my <laughs> Yeah, stare at me. Look at me. <laughs> but no, he's uh he's got that um little like confidence about him on, on stage, which is cool. Um yeah, no, really good. Really, really good. You know what is uh what his plans are now? Like is it a full year off or is it I'm gonna say it depends, but wait, Josh is a person that lives in the moment, mate. I bet he doesn't even know what he's doing. And I mean, he, he'll happily admit that he doesn't even know what he's doing. He might prep next year. He might prep the year after. Um, but guess what? He'll be doing the work to improve. That's all we need to know. So as always, that's all it is. But it's all well and good. He's uh, he's done about 20, 20 pounds of muscle in a year. Not even that. Like one off season. So how uh, how old is Josh? Oh, mate, twenty two. Okay, twenty two. I think. Which is pretty mad. Very good. That's very good. Um, but yeah, he's either twenty yeah, twenty two, but that's yeah. it. Uh, and then this is someone we actually spoke about. Sam, yes, was it yesterday? On yesterday, we did, day? mate. We did. Yeah. Um, somebody wanted us to. I think Logan wanted us to actually do. It. Yeah, the one. I think he go down a sec. I think he actually put on some that one there in the middle. There we go. The, one for the three. The three. I think. That was like some rear shots as well in there. Yeah. The only thing I could say that he... Wait, he's ridiculous. Honestly, mate, he's absolutely ridiculous. His front shots are mad. Yeah. Maybe he's like a little bit more for the upper back and like the lats maybe, but um, that's be like from the rear shots. But, mate, one physique that I can happily say that if I look like that, mate, gotcha. I'd, be, I'd be happy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Um, definitely saw um, that just came out of nowhere because I, I didn't even know who he was until um, started, started coaching, started getting coached by Dan, and it, I, I believe he'll win the um, the overall on Sunday for sure. And it'll be really, really cool to see his uh, really his person. As you can see, mate, from a, from an anterior perspective, like from the front, really, really good. I'd say he's pro pro I, like IFBB pro ready from the front and side. I think from the rear, he's definitely weaker, but it's like it's not glaring. We oh can... mate, no, not not at all. But like, it's like Joe Wayne, like his front's that good, like a hundred percent. It just like outshines his rear shots, even though his rear shots are really, really good. Yeah, um, I I love his I love his rig, mate. Really, really cool. I'm oh, the the adductors are sick from the back. Yeah, man, that's really cool. <laughs> really fucking cool. Um, wicked. His arm, but like, triceps, like look how like his delts, his his arms and the um, most muscular, like. Bobbly as anything. Very, very cool physique. I think some of these stage shots were, were awesome as well. Um mate, he nailed that look. Like when I saw that, mate, I was like, what the hell, mate? Genuinely. There was looked... one that I think Dan Bastic posted it. But there was one I think it, it would have been taken just on his phone, on Dan's phone, I think, but it was the front lap. On stage, it just looked. It was. It was this, but I, I'm, in my head, it was. Um, a no, I know. I know which one you're on about. That's what yeah, I saw. And That's I think I put it on his story or something. Mm-hmm. It was stupid. So yeah. he's definitely he's definitely pro worth. I genuinely. Yeah. Uh, like look at the side leg, mate. It's ridiculous. I, that's a really really good shot for him. Really good shot for him. Mm-hmm. But I would hold that for for minutes. That's. <laughs> Just hold it. Just get in it and and just 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 twist a little yeah. bit. There. Just hold it there, bro. Quarter turn to your left. Nah, man. <laughs> no, I'm doing this one. Right, sorry, I'll say left because he was put his left arm over his head. <laughs> no, it's uh really cool. I'm excited. So he's doing PCA London. 
I'm yeah. interested to see what he'll be doing um, pro qualifier wise for IFBB. I'm assuming it'll be the, the two bros British, but could be going abroad. Who knows? Who knows? Is that him? No way. Nah. <laughs> no. It must, bro, it must be. No chance. I Why is he be. posted it? It must be his family. It must be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Oh, my God. I was going to say, he's changed so... Don't be doing that to me, mate. Right. Wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, wicked physique. Excited to see what he looks like at PCA. I, I would be surprised if someone if someone beats him at PCA. Um, he's uh, he's coming coming to collect the sword. I'll tell you that much. Um, right. Let me get the next one up. Um, okay. This is a good one. Like another PCA London contender for this weekend. Um. We have Mr. Chris Coles, Christopher Coles. Hey. Um, newly turned FitX Pro. Yeah, mate. I hope you enjoyed your donuts. <laughs> hope you enjoyed those donuts, big man. Um, ridiculously good rig, mate. Uh the thing is, so I've known I've probably I've known Colsey for like four years now, three, three and a half, whatever years. Um and I think it, I think he said it was like six years away from stage. Yeah, six, it was years. Like six years, wasn't it? Um, so to make a make a comeback for for people who, if you're like a hardcore natural bodybuilding fan from like AJ Morris, Jack Thorburn's like earlier days, you'll know Crit Colsey because like he um, he did a lot of the shows they were in and did like pretty well, and then took all that time off the off competing, and obviously made his little come little comeback, made his comeback and fucking. Made a made a uh, made a scene so ridiculously good rig. Um, I'm excited to see. He he was my favorite. He was one of my favorite guys. Like I said in the previous podcast, mate, he's easily got one of my favorite physiques like out there currently. Like genuinely, it's it's so complete, mate. It's ridiculous. Um, It's stupid that that comparison there. It says it all. Yeah. Says it. I looked at how many, how how much, like, how much like de- uh, scale weight differences in that. Oh, it'd be ridiculous. It'd be stupid. It must be. It must be like sure. 60, 67 pounds, 60, 70 pounds. Easy. Uh, he hasn't put his weight here. I can't remember. He has told me his weight. I just can't remember it. But it's a, uh, it's a significant amount. I'll tell you that much, mate. Um, which is cool. And the thing is, right. Obviously, he competed as a natty for quite a while. Then the six years, he didn't just go on gear for six years and then compete. He's only been on gear for like a year, which is mad. Yeah, like he he started when I still lived in Croydon. I'm pretty sure. So it's like he would only been on gear for like a year, maybe maybe close to two now. I don't. I can't remember. Um, but he hasn't been on for a long time. I don't know why I'm acting surprised, mate. Because you can just you can just tell, like, yeah. It's just pretty mad to be honest. Um, really, really good. I can't wait to see the look on uh, on Sunday, mate. On Sunday, it'll be really, really good to see. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it'll be a very, very good showing for him. Like, I feel like if I was to pick anywhere, it'd probably be like his triceps and his side chest. I like, genuinely you were what? If I was to pick anywhere, you can improve on it. Probably his triceps and his side chest. Like, yeah. it's, like, it's minimal, mate. Because like, the biceps are so big. That's yeah. why. Yeah, yeah. Um, but mate, like rear shots are class. Has he got more stage shots on here? Are these just um trophy pictures? Oh no, cool. Sick. It's just like very thick, dense muscle, which is cool. That's the thing, mate. It looks like he's like matured, like mature muscle. But he's like, but well, you can just tell he's had a great sort of foundation, mate. That that front lat spread, mate, is just it's yeah. actually ridiculous. Um, like I said, mate, if I was being nitpicky, mate, like because his bi- his biceps are so big, maybe his triceps. But like, that's me. Like, it looks ridiculous, I mean, mate. Yeah. He's one of my favorite physiques, easily. Yeah, he'll he'll be very very good. I'm excited to see what they do. Um, he's another one coached by Heck as well. Heck's been taken over, mate. I'm. Um, do you know, actually know what? 
whilst talking about Heck, I'm going to throw one of my own that didn't get put in, but deserves to, um, who is also coached by Heck, who we have spoken about um, on the podcast before, but I think we spoke about him last year. Um, Callum Jones. May. Bear in mind, still a junior. He has pro level legs. Pro level legs already. I'm pretty sure he's doing PCL London. Man, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So you'll see him on the weekend. Um I can't I the, the legs are straight. Even look what JP said. Mental. <laughs> make him do even higher frequency and make them go full retard. I think it's so, man. I know it sounds silly, but like Oh, you obviously wouldn't, but you know I mean, um, it'd be pretty cool to see it. <laughs> it'd be sick to see it. And I know. He'd have big Rammy legs. Mm-hmm. I, know, I remember he, he competed last year, didn't he? Yes. Uh, he did PCA Wales. He won PCA Wales. Yeah. And, I, and I know um, I know, conditioning was a little bit off for him last year, but by the looks of it, mate, he looks much better. Much, much better. Which is, um, which is good to see, but mate, ridiculous rig. So this is him seven days out, five days ago. So yeah, he'll be doing PCA London. Yeah. Does he say what he's weighing? 226 pounds. I don't know how tall he is. That's a door frame, so he's, he's not short. Ah, oh, mate, he's a big boy. Yeah. He's a big boy, mate, Um, for sure. I think, like I said, mate, legs are ridiculous. Um, Yeah. <laughs> Oh my lord, it's mental, isn't it? It's, the more it's you actually, it's more because I actually saw it the other day when um when Heck posted these ones, and I was like, I need to have a look at how he trains legs because like, is he doing something different that no one else is doing? Because like, how the fuck has he done it? And like, bear in mind, he's strong as fuck, but like, he's got a band on. And I'm not taking anything away from him because he's, he's got ten times the legs I have, but he's got a band on the Cybex Heck, and that's only six and a half plates. Like I've done six plates without a band for more, and my leg, like, what the fuck is he drinking? There's there's something in his pre workout that's just tri- there's something in Wales, mate. There's something in Wales, bro. Yeah. Um, like it's ridiculous. Like I've never seen quads like it for somebody that age. Yeah, that was him last year. Yeah, you can just tell he could be a little bit sharp, but then, then again, mate, he's come back way better this year, so yeah. it's good to see. Yeah, I think he got up over three hundred pounds for his off season as well. Yeah, mental. Doesn't surprise me at all. Mental. Genuinely, does not surprise me at all. No. Let me pull up some others. So you sent me a few more. Oh, yes. Yeah. Cool. Is it just these pictures that we're going to go over? Nah, mate. The, the Lank said he went from, obviously, Natty to um, Enhanced. And, mate... The quad. That's uh. This is this is the lang. This, this is the guy who coaches Josh Connolly. Indeed. So uh, there he is. There, yeah. What a look. Um, he went from assisted to phase one year progress, mate. From being assisted to enhanced is pretty ridiculous. So if you want to go on his page and have a look at that, you can do. But um, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean one year? He went. I was like one year progress from like um from now from back then till now. But I think he went. He went enhanced post show. So from like natty to enhance. Oh right, 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 um, right. It's pretty ridiculous, mate. If you want to keep, um, he posted it. Go down a sec. Go down. I think it's there. I think no. But that, that's his progress anyway. Um. So prep push. It. Yeah. So as you can see here, mate. It's pretty bad. You got to make the quads on him, bro. Yeah, yeah. Quads are stupid. We're looking at we're looking at loads of people with really good quads. So yeah. Um, so what, wait what was this so this is one year apart push up prep then push up You're yeah like... so this is him like now I think so pretty mental and he's 10 pounds up on the right as well so better conditioning as well similar yeah. to the, if not better condition yeah mm-hmm. well, maybe way better like <laughs> just yeah, harder and it, and it's, like, like, oh, it's on the chest Mm-hmm. Bigger. What's a stupid man? Fucking hell. mate, quads are ridiculous. Like the stay shots, mate, are just mental. Um, as you can see there, like that's his face. That's that's from him, at sh- like post show to now. 
Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Sick. Yeah, man. He's blown up. The lank has been lanked himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So um, but now nah, man, that's the only ones that I've got through for you right now. I'll uh I have, I have got some others. I just need to uh just need to pull them up. Give me a second. Um yeah, so yeah, the picture ones we can't look at, annoyingly. So for the next time we do this, anyone listening who wants to get involved, don't if this is gonna don't send your pictures in like that because we can't show that on the screen. Mm -hmm. yeah, just don't they don't work. Um right, we have got up next. This is a bloke who trains at House of Gains. Um oh I'm not showing the screen. Hold on. Mr. Matty Kebble, who's also a coach, um, previous men's physique athlete, now a, I think he, I can't remember, I think he wants to go to Classic at some point. Um, mm. Just did, just did like a diet phase, which is, which is here. Um, I think yeah, man, looks good. Going into a push up, but he's being coached by Cam McKay. Oh yeah, he's posted it. Cam McKay, McKay. Um, it's pretty fucking good condition. That he got to, in his diet, like I saw him in the gym, I thought, like, bro, you might as well jump into it. I said it to him, I was like, you might as well just jump into a show. Like, he got his glutes peeled. I don't know if he's posted his own progress or it's just clients, but no, nah, maybe not. But like, his glutes got peeled. So, like, right. jump into a show, but he, yeah, he, he's, he wants to go into push. He wants to add size. Um, and you can see, like you can see, he's a lot more upper body dominant than than legs, which is yeah. I was about to say, mate, just um, just more lower body. Yeah. So I think as soon as soon as he can add some more muscle onto those legs, he should be in a pretty good spot to then move forward into a category outside of men's physique, which would be cool. Well, isn't the best place to do it, mate? Because I'm not joking. I train legs at House of Gains on Wednesday. It's currently Friday. I am trashed. Yeah. Odds are ruined. Really. I did three sets on the hack squat, mate. Oh. I saw, I saw the uh, the slow eccentrics. Oh, mate, come on! You gotta love sexy it. Sexy reps only, mate. Clients, know. <laughs> you gotta love it. Clients, no. Sexy reps only. Um, I think to be fair, but I think she went like you said. Um, just more, just more from the lower. But the fact that he's posting like his lower just goes to show that like, he's there. Like I'm gonna make these even better, which is a good to see. So, um, yeah, he really hustled. Yeah, no, he got he got very lean for this diet, which is cool. No, nah, man, it's good to see. Like you see there, mate, like the side of tricep, really, yeah. really cool. Yeah, he's, he's he definitely could do well. It's just it's just a case of adding size now, like more. Good uh, place to be in, brother. Exactly. Great tip. In the right gym for that, for sure. Um, uh, should we had... do Ben? We got we both got Ben. Uh, well, yes, we did. We did. We did. We did. Ben. What's his name? Oh, where is he? Ben Clark. Ben Clark. Do you want to send it to me on DM? And I'll just open it. Yeah, bro. I'll, uh, I'll send it across to you now, mate. Nice one, geezer. Uh, this uh, this is Ben Clark. Ben put his name in the uh, in the chat for both of us, uh, and he's given us a little bit of a background information on him as well. So, um, I am opening his Instagram now. Ben is six foot three, natty, and did his first show a month ago. Nah, did his hey, I feel you on the six foot oh, on the taller vibes. Um, his most pinned recent one, mate, has a few uh, has a few pictures there for you. This one, one. yeah, man. Cool. So this is UK the FBA station. Mm -hmm. Sick. Twenty eight kilos. Goodness me, that's about fifty eight pounds. Fifty nine pounds. Decent condition. Is it? Was that his first? Did you say his first show? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, mate. Yeah. First time, but that's not bad condition level at all. Um you no, know mate, I really, really rate this. It's yeah. a really good look. Being that tall as well, mate. I was gonna say for for his height, like that's pretty hey, fucking yeah. honestly. Good quad sweep as well. Fucking hell, look at that. Yeah, man. Good hamstring drop. Good development in the tricep. Good control of the midsection. Yeah, wicked. How much harder do you find posing as a taller person? Mate, it's one of those where you have to like 
for hard. Oh, it's obviously it's like You have to adjust the pose to make it look yeah good. mate yeah like mate i'm telling you and it all depends on who you're posing like next to so for example mate i was i was i was with um my my last show at midlands Yeah. i was posing next to ben hames and kalani who are like five foot ten so Yeah. i wanted to pose bigger Yeah, yeah. and then i got moved next to the british champ whereas um Josh Cullen. Yeah, mate. So I had to like pose with like more shape. Like it was weird. I wanted to pose, like, pose bigger as well, but then I wanted to like show my show my strengths as well in terms of like being more like push my hips back more on um front double, but for, um, like all these different things, mate. Um, so it's like posing bigger against some people, but then showing your benefits against like other people as well. It's just finding a balance, but especially with being taller as well, mate. Like at the end of the day, be you're going to get the same feedback all the time, more muscle development. That is literally it. Um, overall muscularity development. Um, but mate, considering the muscularity you have, mate, you got pretty lean. Yeah. Uh, I think you got as lean as you possibly could with the muscle you have, mate. And that's all you can say for a first time. So fair play. Um, Yeah, definitely. no carbs, no pump, just some protein and fats in the system here. Boom. That is, That is That was mate. that was six weeks ago. Um, oh, he posed with um, Big Leon. oh, nice man. We'll have a look at him as well in a second. Actually, it's a good idea because he's um, competing this weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. I just realized I got the, I got that completely wrong around. I was meant to pose big against the small guy and then show my shape against Kalani. Against the woman, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, it's definitely more. You got to be a bit more methodical with how you pose. Yeah, yeah, especially when when, it, like you said, who who you're up against and stuff. When what the lineup looks like, um, like for example, when I, the only reason I brought it up was I think on his um, uh, front relaxed, which when it loads, it will get to. Um, you can see like he's slightly more like he's not. I don't know if it's just like he's not. Yeah, that so on this. Have less of a bend in the leg, close the legs, but close the gap between the legs, and you want to create as much of like a top line as possible. So, like, expand the rib cage, yeah. um, just so you because, like, with us, we've got like a big clavicular area, so we've not really got the most developed chest. So, I understand why he's kind of obviously not expanding because it makes our chest look more dense, but we're trying to make ourselves look as big as possible and trying to expand, use it to our advantage, essentially. So Um, we can po like this guy here next to him. You can just see, like he's expanding his, like, he's expanding his ribcage. Like he's getting wide. Um, obviously he's probably a little bit more, um, a little bit more muscle. But if he was obviously expanding his um ribcage high, chest nice and proud, it would make it probably a bit better. But then again, like he's probably posing relative to the people that he's next to. So Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. Um, yeah, wicked. That'll be uh, it'll be cool to follow his journeys. Is he? he okay, cool. So he's twenty one as well. Nice. Wait, fair play, man. Very good. Um, yes. Just while we're here, we'll have a look at Leon. Um, I'm pretty sure he's competing this weekend. Yeah, he just posted a reel before we came on there. Yeah. Mental. Yeah, he looks really dry. <laughs> Is it this weekend? It might not be. He is. This Is is it? a ZF game. Is he doing the, the ZFN games, yeah? Yeah, man. Sick. Cool. Freak. Absolute freak. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mental. Do you know what? I don't know how long ago he posted. It would have been fucking ages ago, to be honest. But, oh my God, these are stupid as well. There's no way. Mate, did you see, did not see them? I don't think I've seen these ones. Mate, I saw this and I was thinking, bro, That's what? so interesting. That's that's. I don't know. I don't even have to describe that. That's fucking ridiculous. It looks, it looks, it looks morphed, mate. I that, that bro, in my head, it was like you know when people post those like, Yeah, mate, like that's what cartoonishly I thought. blown up pictures. Yeah, that's what I mean. It looks like um, it looks ridiculous. Yeah, mental. Um, But if this day but is, that's all the people. Um, that's all the ones that we can go through, mate. To be fair. yeah, the other ones were just pictures, weren't they? Mm-hmm.
and as well the people that wanted to get um chosen don't post like photos so I couldn't Yeah, yeah. If suck if you're sending through your name, make sure you've got pictures on your Instagram because we're not going to review your uh, your leg press set. So, <laughs> you can do that jokes we're not going to yeah. um but no we're gonna do these more we always say this, but we no. have people on and then we do other ones but we will do more of these because they are quite popular but thank you for tuning in to episode 59 of, of the amateur Hour podcast ready physiques as always if you're on youtube i'm gonna try and get this on spotify the amount of people that ask me bro can we get this on spotify we try we Why do not? try people do you know do you know what let me just explain because we've changed nothing about how we export the the recording of this nothing it's exactly the same we export it from from uh zoom as a as a mp3 M mp4 video file whatever I, like nothing's changed and then we upload it or i upload it onto youtube it works i upload it to the podcast for spotify's website and it just says um Oh, is it file file unavailable or not? Uh, file upload failed or whatever, right? And it just doesn't work. And then every now and again, it one of them will work and it will go through. So, like, if you look on our Spotify, we've probably missed like four episodes and then had one and then missed them two and then had one, and then we just haven't for ages because they just stopped working. But so there you go, people. We will try. I'm gonna. I will try with this one again. I do try with most of them, to be fair. I'm Connor is the Connor is the mastermind behind this. Um, so yeah, blame you have it. people who are wondering about the spotify uploads but thank you as always like subscribe comment on instagram tag us show some love it's greatly appreciated honestly all you guys that do listen and obviously follow the podcast it's greatly appreciated and we'll see you in the next one love <laughs>